Hello and welcome. Today we will be reviewing slash doing a tutorial on the Eternity AccuCell 6, which unfortunately does not have a DC adapter in it. But today, using a computer power supply, we'll be able to change that. What I absolutely love about these is that they're extremely cheap. Like this only cost me about, I don't know, 28, 30, basically 30 bucks for this uh, LiPo charger. And so far it's actually worked pretty well. As you can tell, it's 80 watts, 10 amps, which isn't too bad. And let's get right into uh, the first part. Okay, the first part is you're going to see a bunch of mess of wires coming out and everything like that. But through in here, you'll be able to find a green and a gray wire, which usually comes out of this big one that usually goes into the motherboard. However, what you're going to do is you're actually going to snip both the green and the gray wires. Just snip them right off, and then you're going to have to solder them or uh, tw the twirl them up, and then hopefully stay, they, they stay together. And this is to make sure the power supply turns on. Because without this, the power supply will not turn on. You'll flip it on and off, on and off, and it will not turn on. So you have to make sure these two are connected. Okay, now, the second part you're going to want to grab, uh, usually the black and the yellow. There's actually, if you go in there and look where the cords come in, I'm pretty sure 90% of the time they're black and yellow. But they should give a voltage. Should be by one of these cables. You're looking for 12 volts, as this thing usually takes up to 11 to 18 volts, and 12 volts is plenty enough for this thing. And what you're looking at here is you're gonna, you're gonna grab, try to find all the cables for this. I mean, you don't have to do all the cables. You only do one if you want, but this is just to make sure I have enough power and everything. So you're gonna grab all the yellow and all the black cables. Once you do that, what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to. Obviously, you can see right here, I had them soldered together, just like this. I had both of them soldered together. I put them together, soldered. You don't absolutely need to solder if you don't have a solder soldering tool or anything like that. You just put, just like twist them up. And then the only reason is because of these little clamps right here. I have to make sure they have a good connection on them. And so, yeah, on to the next part. The Turnage AccuCell 6 luckily comes with some car jumper cables, or what they look like to be car jumper cables. And all I did was uh, attach the black to the black, uh, and then the red to, to the yellow. And I just put some electrical tape around it to make sure the connection stayed on there, you know, so you don't want any loose connections or anything like that. And so, with, what you're going to end up finding out is that at the end of this piece is actually a male to male. Which as you can see right here, does, does not work, because this is a male as well. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to grab your uh, wire cutters, chop off right here, then what you're going to have to do is you have to buy one of these pieces right here, really cheap, about three bucks or so for like ten pieces. And what it is, it's a male to female. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab this, you're going to put your wires right in there, put your solder, solder, and then solder it together. And what you're going to end up is a product like this. And I just put some more electrical tape around it because I sadly didn't have any uh, shrink wrap. So once you're done with that, you should be able to find that this fits snugly right in there. And then... All I have to do is just start it up. Okay, looks like we have everything wired correctly right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn the power supply on. As you can see right here, works fine. 11 volt and 11 volts and just charge your batteries. There you go. One thing is, is that if your power supply does not turn on and it is plugged into the wall set over there, you're going to want to make sure that these cables right here are connected. I actually connected to a extra black wire because these are a little faulty and what the black wires basically are is just a grounding cable and so just want to make sure those connections were very very you know good. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to hook up a XT60 to a power supply which goes to a outlet which Usually you'd have to spend about 70 or 80 bucks on another converter that would just fit banana plugs that would just go right into here. Thank you. Have a good one.